And my name is Johnny Quattro. I'm, uh, we're here in Whistler, BC. I'm involved in uh, designing and developing of snowboard products, um, primarily snowboards themselves. I grew up in Australia and uh, I studied at uh, university and I studied um, uh, engineering and computer science. And I was just in love with snowboarding. I was in love with you know the, the whole concept of Canada and coming to to North America and snowboarding. And so I uh, moved over here straight after school and was riding, touring around Canada, went from the interior to Alaska to ended up on Vancouver Island. And then basically was kind of disappointed with um, what was on the market and what was available to the industry. Back during those times, before engineering was in snowboarding, um, shapes were kind of randomly cut out or cut out with templates and by hand, etc. And what we did is we started, well, what I was involved in was actually starting to um, take the shape of a board and design it on the computer with AutoCAD. And it was a pretty big, big, you know, moment in time where that computing world started coming into, into, you know, engineering and design. Prior to that, it was all pencils and sketching. This is a project, a, a, a private project that I've been working on for, you know, a few years and, and it's slowly evolving, but we're getting there, you know. Back in the early days of snowboarding, it was a bunch of surfers that sort of invented snowboarding. And so we've gone back to that route of surfing in the snow, you know, so so the focus of surf, surfing in the snow is all about the board shape. As you get to the front foot, then to the back foot, where you pretty much do all, you, all your standing in the, in the center of your weight is right in this zone, that's where you have your side cut. This is called a swallow tail. This allows the board to just sink into the snow really naturally. And so typically what you do is you just stand right on the board and this will just surf the mountain. This concept is we've taken all the inorganic materials out of it and we've replaced it with nothing but organic materials. So we have wood that comes from trees, we got um, glue that comes from uh, honey, and then we have fiberglass that comes from bamboo fibers. So that concept allows us to build something completely organic. I've designed many boards over the years for professional athletes and um, gold medal winners as well as um, uh, free ride pro athletes. Um, and it's an interesting relationship because most of them don't really know how to articulate what they want. And so a pro athlete would say, well, these are the tricks I want to do. This is my ability. This is, this is what I'm trying to get out of a board. And this board in my hand just doesn't cut it. So how can we make a board that works for me? One of the good points to, to touch on is, is the engineering background, the actual schooling, has given me a, an advantage over the industry and, and other people without schooling and without the background.